Good morning. morning from Santa Cruz, the Galapagos, Ecuador. Ecuador. We are starting our morning off by heading over to the Charles Darwin Research Center where we may get to experience meetings with giant Galapagos tortoises for the first time. And it's free to enter, so that's always a bonus. Let's get cracking. So here we are at the research station. We are here right now. And the intention is to follow this white path all the way through. We would love to do the red path, but apparently you need to pay for a guide to take you through it. We'll see if we feel the need to do it, but we'll try and keep things as free as possible for as long as possible. thinking we're on a set of islands that are Spanish speaking why is the name of a British naturalist on the research center here well as part of his findings that led to the theory of evolution through natural selection Charles Darwin actually came here and explored for quite a number of years on the HMS Beagle before then moving on to Tahiti for further research since then, there have been foundations and research stations that have been forged in its name, all of which are aimed at conservation efforts for all of the many endemic species that live in this set of islands. It was really cool to learn about all of this stuff, but we're still hoping we might be able to find a giant tortoise or two, so we're going to explore a little bit further into the park. Hopefully, we still don't have to pay for it, but we're thinking we may have to if we want to see this truly unique animal. Because at the end of the day, if you're not going to see a giant tortoise here, then when are you?
was the most incredible thing I've seen in my life. And that may sound really dramatic, but I can't even believe what I just saw. They are so amazing. And when they move, it kind of sounds like a rock is slipping or a rock is being turned over because they're so heavy. And the way they move their legs, it's like this scraping sound. It's the most magical thing I have ever seen in my life. That is truly awesome. And one of the main reasons that anybody should be coming here. I can't believe we just saw that. That was so incredibly special. Although technically we then got accosted by a security guard who told us that that was technically on what is known as Ruta de la Tortuga, which is like that red route that we were showing you on the map. And apparently we needed a guide to go see that. So whoops. <laughs> that was a happy accident because we should have had to pay for it. And it truly was an innocent mistake on our part. So if you do come here, you should pay for it and not try to sneak on. Like we swear that wasn't our intention at all. It we was an no innocent idea. mistake, no. but obviously it worked out in our favor. Now there is apparently a beach that we are allowed to walk on. So we're going to try and see what we can see on that. how close we've been able to get to these marine iguanas and what do you think they are? I think they might be Galapagos fur seals. Which are technically a type of sea lion but they're uh, relatives to the types that we saw in New Zealand in Kaikoura. And there's no way in any other part of the world we would get this close to the animals and them not to care. Mm -hmm. We're literally maybe seven feet away from them and they're just chill. There's humans all around here and it's no problem at all. This is outrageous. It's nuts. It was like, it was just one of the local kids walked like right by one of these sleeping seals' heads and like it's fairly bad island. Mm -hmm. If we were in Kaikoura in New Zealand, they would be hissing, you'd probably get bitten, but... No, they couldn't get us. It's just very comfortable around you. It's just awesome. I cannot get over this. This is out of this world. It's reasons like this why you, this is such a special place to come in the world. I'm so glad we're here. Take a wild guess as to where we're headed next. We've just 
checked in at Tortuga Bay and it's completely free to come here. We just have a two and a half kilometer walk down to Tortuga Bay Beach and we're hoping that we can see a lot of animals. On the signs it's showing pelicans, marine iguanas, turtles, sharks. Did you see anything else? No, I think that was about it. But, you know, literally seeing any animal at this point is a huge bonus and something we've never seen before. So I'm really excited. This kind of makes you think that this is how beaches are meant to be. Unlike a number of ones that we ended up going to on our travels up to now, there's no shops, no bars blasting loud music, there's no private land or needing to rent a sun lounge or anything like that. So literally, you come here to enjoy it. Enjoy the natural beauty because it's completely unspoiled. And that really just brings home just how special the Galapagos is. I think this was kind of the same feeling that we got when we were in Manuel Antonio as well. By closing off the beach and making it protected, then this is how you can get to enjoy it. It's just amazing to be here. to try and get a sense of what we might be able to see here then we were told that there would be like marine iguanas and certain types of bird species on the beach but in order to go and see like turtles and sharks and everything you'd either have to rent a kayak or you'd have to grab a snorkeling mask and go probably a few hundred meters out in order to enjoy it properly however it seems like we got very, very lucky. It turns out it's hammerhead shark breeding season right now, which means that there are a lot of baby sharks. Do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. And one baby hammerhead actually came really, really close to the beach to hunt, and we got to see it. So that is an incredible bonus that we were not expecting at all. No, I can't believe how many animals we have seen today just from going about life. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw tortoises, we've seen marine iguanas, crabs, 
sea lions, and now a baby hammerhead shark, all without being on a tour, just walking around Santa Cruz Island in Puerto Ayora ourselves, basically. Yeah, it's nuts. Like, this place is just so abundant with life that, like, I think you would have to go out of your way to not see something pretty incredible. So yeah, I think day one has been pretty successful as far as I go. It has exceeded my expectations. Santa Cruz Island, I can't obviously speak for the rest of the Galapagos, although I'm sure it's just the same. Mm. It is absolutely magnificent. It's beautiful. It's one of a kind. And I just cannot wait for the rest of our time here. Absolutely. It is such a genuine pleasure and privilege to even be here and to get to see what we've already seen in just one day is more than I think you'd expect to see in most other countries realistically in the space of a week. So Yeah, like, it's totally surpassed my expectations. Oh, me too. This is an absolute blockbuster. I still can't get over the fact that we're here and experiencing it. But really, this just bodes incredibly well for the rest of what we've got planned while we're here. But that's all we have for today. We didn't really plan anything else other than going to Charles Darwin Research Station and then here to Tortuga Bay. Exactly. So with that, we will see you tomorrow for something equally exciting. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.